man. Look at that weather. It's horrible. guys welcome back for yet another video from Scotty's photography thanks so much for coming back and today I did have quite a explosive video for you guys but due to the weather and how crap it is outside I'm not gonna be able to use these today which is really really annoying but I probably would save a figure or two because if you watched last week's video we sort of destroyed a brand new figure and I don't really want to do that again but I do want to get a lot better at practical effects it's one of the things you just have to keep going with it today what we're gonna do is is I have a pretty cool shoot with a guy in a red suit that calls upon a certain Megazord. Do you know who? Come on, right, okay, I'll, I'll wait until you figure it out. Yep, you got it right. Jason the Red Ranger. I also found a couple of just searching through loads of, just got a box full of toys that I don't really do anything with and searching through, I found something pretty cool. Come on, let's go. So yeah, we found this guy. Look at this! Look how cool this bike is. I only found this in a random box. All we need to do is let's create some space and let's get down to the shoot. Let me tell you first what I'm going to be using in the shoot so that if you want to recreate something like this, you know exactly what to do. So let's go into that. And here we go guys, so first thing we're going to want to do is get it in the pose you want. So the next thing for me is about background. What do I want? What does this scene need? Well, it would look better if I had a diorama set to, you know, put him in, raise him up, but I don't. So I've got a couple options. I could either make it, I could make it just a dark scene, have a black backdrop, or you can use a monitor. So I think what I'm going to do is I may source a monitor just now, and then we'll hook it up to a scene that this is going to fit. We could probably just use my desk right now. So PS, sorry about the autofocusing. It's just because it keeps going light and dark really yeah I think we might just use a monitor here so let's have a look so the rest of the video you're gonna see from the eyes of my phone camera because I need this camera so so you guys let's do this And there we have it guys, that was the Red Ranger on his motorcycle shoot done. Even though we were unable to use the crackling balls, we still got to use some sparklers and things like that, which, I mean, as you can see, it changes the image. Just that little addition of practical effects. It's just, a, I mean, you could have done it in Photoshop. It's quite cool learning how a sparkler in front and behind the figure is going to affect the image. So, um, and also it gives you a good chance to figure out how to layer in Photoshop. Thanks again for watching this video. Let me know if you do like it by giving it a thumbs up. Or if you don't like it, thumbs down. I'd prefer you not to do that, but we're not sure. Um, and also, please subscribe to this channel. I'm trying my best to get my toy photography out there. With your help, you guys can make this happen. So thank you so much for joining me, and until the next one, and sorry about the lighting. Ah!